Hey everybody, the other day I made an Unreal Engine 4 character that inside Unreal Engine 4 I created two uh, simple animations for this uh, soon to be zombie character. Right now he doesn't have any textures so he's pretty, you know, boring. But I'm going to take this into Substance Painter and see what we can do. It's 107,000 plus polygons so that's not too bad, so let's get right into Substance Painter. Okay, so I got my character uh, in Substance Painter 2. It, uh, I didn't have any issues, just make sure you've got UVs on whatever object you're bringing into Substance, uh, or it won't load. Yeah. Um, I tried to load it without UVs, and it, it didn't work, so it just stopped. <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be a zombie type character. I'm going to delete this layer, bake textures, okay, shouldn't be too bad. I'm not going to be too worried about the errors that generate right here, if there are any. Oh, <laughs> baking failed, I'm not sure what that means. Anyway, okay, so let's go to materials. And what is a good, yeah, steel rust and wear. Let's put that on our character. Okay, and then probably plastic uh, mat. <clears throat> then change the color. It's going to be, I don't know, dark greenish. Okay, that looks kind of nice. Okay, then uh, let's go to Smart Masks, Smart Masks, and choose one of the cool masks. Let's see, Dusk Soft, Dusk Oculus. Let's see what that looks like. Just click and drag on the layer you want. Okay, is that totally overpowering? Um, let's adjust that some. Dirt level, okay, that's a little better. Wait, dust contrast, yeah, that's what I want. <clears throat> okay, that works. Let's go back up to material. Uh, let's... Titanium pure, no, let's... Let's go for another shade of black, right on top, and that will completely cover what we've just done. Let's go back to Smart Masks, Masks, and try Rust. Loading, loading. Oh, that's pretty intense. Let's see. That looks kind of nice, but it's way too extreme. Let's try and die that down a little bit. Contrast, wait, more contrast. I think there is too much... Ooh, inverted. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's kinda nice. Okay, now I just need a fiery red type color for his hands. So let's plastic mat on top, change the color, ooh, uh, that's kind of nice. I actually like orange, it's interesting. Okay, then add a black mask, and then on the fingers, let's... Oh, let's find a nice brush. Let's see what cement looks like. Okay. Sweet, looking good. Okay, and that did not apply to the other side. 
I'm so used to using ZBrush, uh, I was expecting there to be uh, symmetry. Okay, back of the hand. Ooh, I've got a good idea. Um, let's add another material, plastic mat, and change this to be real dark. Add a black mask to that, and then nice. Okay. Okay, I like that arm hand. Now the other side. Okay. Nice. Now I need a red. So, plastic mat one more time. Okay. Then change to red. Then add a black mask. And I'm more focused on the fingers than anything else. Moving over. Okay. Okay, this hand's done. Now let's do the other side. Okay, that's good. Wait, what about the thumb? This is going to be my zombie character, and he, he needs to look nice. Oh. Okay. Perfect, okay. I like that. Now... I have lost my character. Oh, there we go. Scary. Oh, looks nice. Cool. Okay, now let's let's go back to the black mask that we created or black and then mask over it. And he needs some wear and tear. Oh, size, flow, oh, that's why. There we go. Right on. Let's see, what else does he need? No, I don't want his eyes to be black. Um, probably... Ooh, rust fire. Let's try that. Or rust, rust fine. Let's put that on the top. And then let's add a smart mask to that. Okay, um, cavity rust. Let's see what that looks like. Nice. Okay, I like that. And my character is done. 
this is what my zombie character is going to look like. Okay, so, just so we don't lose any anything, um, making characters, zombie man, zombie man, skin, yeah. Okay, save it as a SPP. Okay, now I need to right click, export textures, and then JPEG. I like JPEG. Let's see. Configure for Unreal Engine 4 packed. Then we need to change its destination. Okay, ZBrush characters. Yeah, Zombie Man, right here. Select the folder. Export. Okay, open folder. Uh, here's my FBX. I think this was from ZBrush. I don't know, sorry, this is my FBX. And that was from ZBrush, and this is from Substance Painter. And this is my substan Substance Painter file. So, let's quickly load up Unreal Engine 4. Okay, Unreal Engine 4. This is the file I was working on. This is the character that has all sorts of animations, or at least two of them. Um... Now, I need to import my other character. Oh, wrong folder. Zombie Man. Let's import Zombie Man. Let's do this one thing at a time. So I'm going to first import the textures. Working, working. Okay, that loaded just fine. Okay, whatever. Now... I need to... Oh wait, it's... Oh, it's already in here. It's saved as Zombie Man, but... Um... Oh, actually, I think I need to load in Zombie Man, because I didn't have any UVs attached to this character, but I did for Zombie Man. So, I'll just uh, import Zombie Zombie Man right now, and then we can continue. So, import... And... Zombie Man... This zombie man has UVs. Okay. Skeletal mesh, import, right. Import. Okay. Let's hope this doesn't take too long. 75, 75. Okay. So it took a few minutes, but it loaded just fine. So now what I'm going to do is... Uh, Create a brand new material. Uh, zombie man skin. Good. Then open that up. Uh, yeah, open it up. Uh, wait. Dock it to the right side of my screen. Okay. Then, Zombie Man, Zombie Man, Zombie Man. These three textures I'm going to need. So, base color, let's drag that in right into... Whoa. Uh, base color. Okay. And then, Zombie Man Material Normal. Normal goes right here. Then, Zombie Man Occlusion. Ambient occlusion, that's gonna go right right there. And now my material is material is all set up. So let's apply that and open up Zombie Man. Cool. He looks pretty scary. Oh, oops. Um I'm gonna dock this to the left. Wait, yeah, this to the left, and then this to the right. Okay, full screen. Wait. Um, all I need to do is just uh, change his material. So, so, um, okay. Actually, let's close that and then just plug in, yeah, Zombie Man to. 
the right area. And now it should be loading and should look just fine. Cool. Okay, let's take a look. Just like we uh, um, made in Substance Painter, this is our zombie man. And we will um, use his simple animations, just two of them, including his fingers, into my zombie games. Z zombie game. Probably, maybe starting out in like a forest land or something, I'm not sure. Let's zoom in, see if his uh, textures look good. Okay. There's hands. Looks good on the other side. Yep. I'm excited. So this is the very next step of uh, creating a nice looking skin texture for our zombie. Now the next step, I'm probably going to attach his animations to the character and then uh, make this my playable character or something. Or just a character in the background and you can interact with him and blow him up and stuff. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and uh, if you like this and want to create characters like this, or you want to see more of this, uh, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Thanks everybody.